Hello everybody and welcome back to another Deep Ogre review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new... Semi brand new? Yeah, let's go with semi brand new. The Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Captain America. 20th Anniversary of Marvel Legends. One of the first Marvel Legends that ever came out officially was Captain America in this costume. And we'll get into more kind of accessories to go along with that idea later on in the video but if you haven't seen the unboxing of this figure yet go watch that first come back yeah thank you now that you're back this guy's amazing i'm not going to talk too much about him right now but uh what i am going to talk about right now is his accessories so starting up first with accessories because there's accessories to go with this the shield Obviously, I have the little crackle effect here because it's not that intrusive, unlike the other ones. But sadly, 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 when you take the nice looking crackle effect off, don't get me wrong, I like this. This looks amazing. It would look good with a Thor figure, actually. But it does look good by itself. And it's made out of this kind of rubbery plastic. Uh... So it's pretty bendable and pliable. I don't feel like I'm going to break it at all. And then nice translucent blue just really, really pops. But you can see it's pegged in there. Sadly, they sacrificed the shield for the fucking accessories. And I wish, honestly, I don't even care if it bumped up the price like five bucks. I wish that they gave us another shield or at least different pegs that matched the color of the shield. This is just infuriating. This pisses me off because I either have really cool accessories on it or I put like some clay in there and paint the clay. And that's my only options here. I might grab another one or like find try to find a loose shield um to paint or put some clay in there and to paint it, but as is this sucks ass. But it's there for a reason. You have some bullet effects. I'll go over these first. Um, you do have to find the correct hole. So this one, square peg, square hole. Boom. Very easy to find this one. This one's kind of harder to see, I think. Huh. I think it's this one. Well, let's let's look at the other one. I, these these are kind of hard to figure out. So you see that? And so that goes here. Yep, that goes in here. Kind of tight fit, but that's good. At least they're not loose. So that leaves this one, and boom, got them all pegged in, and it looks like. The shield is being shot at with a weapon, obviously. Um, clip. Sadly, there's a clip. No straps. They haven't found a good way to do a Captain America shield. The straps are annoying. The clips break. They haven't found a good way to do a shield, honestly. But, boom. There you have that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking. Now, unclip it from the arm, and let's get the last thing, or the last pair of effect accessory. Ah, the last effect access accessory, sorry, on this shield. Ooh, that's tight. So, I'm going to say it goes this way, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Peg that in, peg that in, and peg that in and boom you get a slash effect kind of like black panther or wolverine is slashing at it or somebody is slashing at the shield and it's just reflecting off i really really dig this effect very nice paint right Blah. translucent yellow some nice white highlights in the middle of it very very schmexy looking i like that i like that a lot picasso but for the shield obviously Regular Captain America shield, white star, blue circle, red circle, white circle, red circle. It's, uh, it's cast in a gray plastic, but 
obviously you clip it onto the wrist either wrist choice is yours but for storage you get you kind of have to line that up because it likes to write up at least on mine it likes to write up a little bit after use or after you mess around with the figure but you obviously can just peg that right into the back and you have his shield on the back and that gets rid of the ugly fucking circles or the ugly mine has some hair in it I didn't notice that until now but that gets rid of the ugly fucking peg holes and boom that looks pretty good um, but we're not getting into this detail yet we still have a couple more accessories first the hands I'll go over the hands he comes with a couple of hands very very nice you get a saluting hand very very nice obviously they're all cast in this red they have a nice glove look to them too saluting hand uh, I think this is a right left hand I can't remember you get a pointer hand which is the opposite of the saluting hand very nice I like this I like this a lot actually and then you get two fists just regular fists nothing really to write home about still with that nice glove look and uh, I think the fists he has on in the package I can't remember exactly but my personal favorites are the splayed out hands which I have on him right now I love these hands as you know I said it in the Miles Morales video that um, I like relaxed hands like this or splayed out hands I don't know why I just do they're one of my favorites and we don't get them enough in my personal opinion uh, but for other accessories the last two you get unmasked Steve Rogers and a cowl so basically obviously pop the head off put the cowl on it doesn't want to fit really well it kind of just is really loose and then you oh, you pop Steve Rogers head on I think that's all in all the way and boom boom that head sculpt looks absolutely fucking amazing literally one of the best Marvel Legends head sculpts we've ever gotten probably definitely I really really fucking dig this head sculpt it just looks so amazing so realistic and I just wow I'm I'm honestly still blown away by this especially when we first see it when on Parable Old Universe got the figure early from Hasbro to reveal it god this fucking head sculpt just ooh it looks amazing and if you want a comparison here it is next to the un or the worthy Captain America unmasked Steve Rogers head from the movies so that's yeah uh, yeah I don't know but getting that off and going into the actual figure figure so coming in last second this might like be a weird cut in the video but I just finished the review completely forgot about this uh, <laughs> this is supposed to emulate the old backdrop or I think it was like an actual stand like a physical plastic stand of this uh, with the original uh, Captain America that came out with Toy Biz. Um, I totally forgot about it. It's in the corner of my review station. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, guys. It, it's I know this is a weird cut, but this is a plastic, or not a plastic, cardboard sheet with the backing being a comic book cover for Captain America to emulate the comic book that you actually got when Toy Biz was doing cam camix, uh figures, <laughs> sorry. So you get that nice little artwork right there. It looks pretty good, actually. Sorry, I completely forgot about this. And then you get this nice, cool little Marvel Legends stand, which can just peg right there. And boom, he can stand on the stand if you want him to. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you want, you can get the cardboard backing in on it. So, you can have that type look if you want to, if you feel so inclined. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Totally forgot about it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Let's take a look at him. So, 
I have a couple complaints with this. The face paint on mine is extremely sloppy, and it's on the mask. You can see right there, and right there, and right there. It's on the mask. S plus, it looks like something scuffed the eye on this one. It's kind of weird looking. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it because I don't want to make it worse. And he's kind of looking in different directions, but that doesn't bother me too much. Oh well. He is wearing a mask. You can't really see it that well. Other than that, the paint apps are pretty amazing on this guy. It does look like they were supposed to go fill, like fill the full eye, but they didn't and just filled kind of like the inner eye. So I actually prefer that. Actually, I really, really do prefer that over uh, the whole eye painted because that would have just been too classic for me. This is more serious. I love the lips on this guy. The butt chin is absolutely fantastic looking. These wings are two separate pieces. You have that giant A, which again has a little bit of paint problems right there and there, but that doesn't bother me too much. I just noticed it. Obviously, the main draw is his torso. Each of these scales is individually painted with that blue ring around it right there you can see it better right there holy shit hasbro did a fucking amazing job with this this is a softer i think it might be no because it's sculpted up right here so maybe just this whole torso piece is a softer piece of plastic because you can see it has some give right there but it just looks absolutely fantastic even continuing in on the arms just Beautiful, beautiful. You have that white star on the back as well. Just absolutely amazing. I love, love, love the sculpt. This is the reuse of the 80th Captain America. And I never got that figure, sadly. But this just, like, wow. It's a lot better in my opinion. You got that nice white star in the middle. Very, very, very crisp. Very clean on mine. You have these straps which are removable uh, if you do... Uh, choose to remove them. I, I'll just remove them right now. Um, but I prefer them on, actually. Honestly, I really do prefer them to be on the arm, or on him, uh, just because it gives a more tactical look, in my personal opinion. You get some paint shading right in here, right there. It's kind of on the white. You can kind of see a little... No, wait, that's just shadows. They didn't do it on the white. I was expecting like a little bit of light blue in there, but it's just the figure's natural shadows, but they did do a little bit of red shadowing right in there, which, yeah, I could give or take, I don't really care, um, it's not horrible, but it's not the best. You get nice gunmetal gray right there for the belt buckle, belt is black, nice blue stripes right there, I feel like this is reuse from that, uh, reaper body. One that we got a while, while back. A while back in like 2016. But you nice, er, but you have some nice blue legs and crotch. Obviously, they're just cast in blue. Very nice musculature. Uh, America's ass right here, but comic book edition. Uh, sadly, because the reuse, it is no pinless joints. So, you got pins. Oh well, I lived with pins for four years before they did pinless so who cares and you got some nice pirate boot sculpt again with the shading i could i could take it or leave it it really doesn't matter to me but very very nice pirate boot look i really really dig this guy's all of his detail is just amazing including the accessories and just wow for comparison obviously first up here he is next to Wait, I'm doing this out of order. I was supposed to do articulation first. Sorry, guys. But here he is next to the DC McFarlane Superman, obviously, boys in blue. And well, they're not police officers. Never mind. They don't commit hate crimes. Um, and here he is next to the Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime. And next for comparison, here he is next to a real American hero barbecue, the G.I. Joe Classified Barbecue, and the G.I. Joe Classified Destro, a real American villain because here he is next to the Marvel What If Marvel Legends, obviously Marvel Legends, Zombie Cap, and the Marvel Legends, uh, 
modular Iron Man. And here he is next to some MCU Captain America ish characters. Here he is next to the Captain America Falcon from the Winter Soldier and Falcon, and US Agent John Walker from Winter Soldier and Falcon. And lastly but not leastly, the big comparison here he is next to the supervillains wave Red Skull. These guys look fucking fantastic next to each other. I love the way these guys look next to each other. And the MCU Bucky Barnes. Yeah, this guy this guy just looks good anywhere. So, for articulation, I know I usually go from detail sculpt to articulation, but I totally blanked out for some reason. But for articulation, every hand is on a side-to-side -side hinge, sadly, even the salute hand, even the pointing hand. I wish the pointing hand was on a roll-the-dice movement hand, but sadly it is not. You get nice side-to-side -side hinge on that hand, nice side-to-side -side hinge on that hand. I don't know why I started with the hands. Weird. Dumbbell and a, uh, not a dumbbell joint, hinge, ball joint up that far very very good down about that far you got some nice tilt kind of a little bit this is a new head sculpt i believe obviously full 360 ball joint arm can go out about that far down about that far full 360 it's kind of ratcheted oddly side bicep swivel double jointed elbows very nice movement the cuff obviously gets in the way you got a ab crunch forward that far back about that far you got a swivel right here at the waist leg can kick up about that far back not far at all nice spread i wouldn't say a beautiful spread sadly thigh swivel double jointed knees mm calf rotation at the boot and you do get a upwards hinge down and a beautiful ankle rocker and so for my final thoughts i'm gonna give this guy a solid 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 9.5 out of 10 this guy's amazing the accessories are great the look of this guy, the articulation, the feel, the just everything, the presence. This is Captain America at his finest. And it really, really captures that. And it really, really does a good job of that. And I can't get give it enough credit for that. Uh, but the 0.5 gets taken off out of the 10 out of 10 because the shield pisses me off the shield just like downright is atrocious but the other thing is the head the mast head mine has a couple of paint app issues so it's just my copy but still it sucks other than that this guy's pretty much perfect if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to see more from me and you haven't already, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.